Okay, seriously, how nice was today? Things are looking pretty good heading into tomorrow as well with a high of 18 degrees. And if you like that, well, Monday is some day that you can look forward to because we're going to get in that 20 range. Believe it or not, it's patio weather making a return. But by the end of the work week, that's when we start to cool down back to seasonal. The average high for this time of year is around 10 degrees. We're currently sitting at 13 out of Pearson right now, 10 in North Bay and 14 in the Windsor area. So you get the weather picture. It's nice out there, but it doesn't mean you don't need that jacket. In fact, this northwesterly wind we're tapping into right now is making it feel just a bit cool outside. So you're going to want a jacket, a light jacket, a, whatever jacket you plan on using, just I would definitely not leave the house without it. You don't need that umbrella for this evening. And in terms of boots or anything like that, I mean, you can get away, I wouldn't say flip-flop weather, but Monday you can get away with wearing flip-flops. Now our satellite radar is showing us not much happening out there. Minimal cloud cover, but clouds will build throughout the overnight. And then we're going to see partly cloudy skies heading into tomorrow. Now in our forecast, things are looking pretty good for the next two days, but Monday rolls along and although we're dealing with nice conditions for the majority of the day by the evening things will start to change. We'll see a bit more cloud cover heading into the afternoon period and by the evening we'll start to see our first round of rainfall around 9 p.m. It's going to be spotty continuing on and off throughout the evening period overnight heading into Tuesday morning and then spotty conditions continuing for Tuesday throughout the day. Light stuff, we're not expecting a whole lot of rainfall, but closer to that five millimeter mark is what we're expecting. So overall, the weather picture, we're not dealing with a lot of rain heading into this week, but Thursday is when we can see our next round of rainfall and about five millimeters is expected once again. So that's what we're looking at right now, heading into our forecast, breaking down the day for you tomorrow. If you're planning on going for that car wash, I would say yes, because things are looking good. Partly cloudy skies to start off the morning. A southwest wind, 25 to 30 kilometers per hour and three degrees to start off the morning. So a bit of a cool start to your morning, but bouncing up throughout the day because of a breezy southwest wind. That'll bring in that warmer air. So partly cloudy skies around 4 p.m. Our air quality around 4. Um, the next seven days, this is kind of a breakdown of what's going on. 18 degrees will be our daytime high throughout the overnight. We actually get to about 9, which is our daytime seasonal high for this time of year. And 20 degrees on Monday. Monday will be our daytime high 16 degrees on Tuesday and then this we start to see things cooling down slightly getting back to the seasonal mark we fall back to the freezing mark heading into the morning period on Thursday and we could see some rain throughout the evening but it dries up by the weekend and heading into the Easter weekend things are looking pretty good with sunshine and we're getting back to that seasonal mark sitting at eight degrees so overall the seven day forecast is actually quite pleasant with the next few days being above seasonal and definitely patio weather.